and she just bleeds her asshole. I get bleach on my t-shirt. I almost feel like an... Oh my god, I'm recording. Hi! Hi everyone. It's been a while, but I'm back with the jump off. And I'm returning to exactly where I left things off with window shopping. And we're going to continue to explore Shein. First of all, these shorts. <laughs> I'm living for this entire outfit. I do appreciate Shein finding a use for trash bags other than holding trash. For those unfamiliar with Shein, it is a website that sells clothes for prices that scream exploitation of the global south. Shein exists at the center of a lot of conversations that are happening online about the intersection between ethical and unethical clothing, fast fashion, waste, exploitation, sweatshop labor, pollution, global warming, climate change, all sorts of things that we're not going to get into in this video because I don't have the brain bandwidth to actually hold enough information about it to make a salient point. But I will say that people deserve access to accessible clothing in their size 100%, but it is very easy with websites like this to backslide into overconsumption. So if you are going to support a brand like Shein, it's very important to make sure that you're not buying like $500 worth of cheaply made clothes. I've gone over to the plus section and I'm already kind of impressed. Like this is a pretty dress. This is a pretty dress. That's pretty. That's Possible. We had a lot of fun last time with t-shirts, but I think I want to keep it simple and look at some new arrivals. Hey, what? Oh my God. Oh God. Oh yes. <laughs> I said I wasn't immediately going to dive into graphic tees, but I guess the website itself had other plans. This is our first graphic tee of the day. We have a t-shirt, crew neck t-shirt in the ugliest shade of purple known to human or lobster eyes that says mom life, sorry, hashtag mom life. So you can make sure your search engine optimization is as powerful as possible when you're waiting in line to check out at Target for the fourth time this week. That is not meant to shame anybody who spends three days at a their week at Target, if there weren't a panna cotta going on outside right now, that sentence would be describing me. That's my favorite place in the goddamn world, second only to any shoe store that actually carries size 12. So we have hashtag mom life, and the image is a woman with a 2012 Zoella-esque messy bun and a little head wrap on and sunglasses that are both pink leopard print. As we all know, I am not a mother and will never biologically be one because God looked at me and said, if I give you a normal reproductive system, you're going to be too powerful. And so he just nuked my uterus. Like I'm not a mother, but I do plan to become one someday. And I don't find that this t-shirt celebrates motherhood in any meaningful way. I don't. I do think it celebrates having bad taste in a meaningful way. And you know what? For some people, that's enough. $7 rhinestone studded cut out tight. We're not going to address why having a cutout tight might be useful. This is a family show. This is the sexiest shoe we could have put my girl in. Look at her. She's hitting this pose. She looks gorgeous. She's got the gold eyeshadow on, pretty lipstick. She looks great. And you guys put her in this conservative nightmare? Absolutely not. I realized that is a stiletto and I just called it conservative. And I live by that, I absolutely stand by that, I don't care. I think this is a great pair of tights if you hate painlessly crossing your legs while wearing hosiery. I'm not arguing. I'm simply explaining why I'm right. I like the implication that Shein thinks you should wear all of these graphic tees with a pair of light wash mom jeans and some Converse white low tops. I think every website should encourage its patrons to dress like the main character of a Sarah Dessen novel from 2007. There is some high schooler in a debate club who's really into it and it's kind of their whole personality. And they're like, oh, this is so ironically funny for me. Oh my God, yes. Oh, I'm forgetting my little command click thing. People are gonna yell at me for <laughs> right clicking. So this is a plus size two in one cold shoulder sweatshirt. It's designed to look like you're wearing a little racerback tank underneath a big oversized sweatshirt. Now I came of age in the mid to late 2000s and the early 2010s, okay? In the year of our Lord, 2008, I started high school and my absolute favorite shirt to wear was a shirt quite like this. Black slim fit crew neck world wildlife fund t-shirt. It had these white and black polka dot sleeves stitched into it to look like I was wearing a short sleeve shirt over a long sleeve shirt when in actuality, I was just wearing a cry. So I definitely appreciate Shein working so hard to resurrect that trend 
of shirts that look like you are wearing two shirts because sometimes you don't want to wear two shirts. Have you ever tried layering, like actually layering? It sucks. You feel like you're wearing Joseph's Technicolor dream coat. Like it's so many layers, it sucks. Fuck layering. Let's just pretend. You are joking. A double whammy in the same row? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These are the plus ruched leather look leggings that we've inexplicably paired with these shoes. And we've also inexplicably made the model hit this pose. These are great multitasking pants. Like the person who needs these pants is someone who likes to go out and party, likes to go to the club, but they are also the president of a fan club for Sharpay dogs. You cannot tell me that a person who finds this cute would not also wear these pants. You know what dogs I think are really cute? Hold on. Oh my God. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. Wait, 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 wait. Another one I like. Oh God. I never know how to spell this. A skipperka? Look at these pointy bastards. I saw one of these. <laughs> Look at this. This man is stanced up. I saw one of these on the street in Florence once when I lived there and I just followed this woman for like a full block and then eventually shouted across the street in Italian, your dog's cute. And she was like, Thanks, and then immediately walked down a side street to get away from me. Um, oh my God, look at this. This is like if you had a bat and you did a spell on it to turn it into a dog. I love this guy. What was I doing? Now these, this is a pair of pants. First of all, we couldn't even get the model a pair of jeans that fit. I guess I'm trying to figure out what market this fills, right? Like someone who wants to wear distressed jeans and the kind of distressed jeans that have just full huge panels of jeans torn out of them instead of just a couple demure tears here and there. Destroyed distressed jeans. Clinically depressed distressed jeans. So it's someone who wants to wear jeans like that but I guess is a little bit more conservative and doesn't want to show two thirds of their leg to the general public. So what do you do? You take some leopard print fabric and stitch it into your distressed holes <laughs> distressed holes. Distressed holes. Oh, honey. Distressed holes. You want to talk about distressed holes? You should see my mouth after a breakup. <laughs> that hole is very distressed because it's full of cake. <laughs> oh, honey. Seriously, this might be the ugliest pair of pants I've ever seen. Usually I feel like we don't get pants being like the main characters of these videos. It's usually dresses or graphic tees. This is really refreshing. I also like the implication that like she is a leopard, you know? We've torn away parts of her jeans. She's got leopard leg underneath. <laughs> leopard leg is actually the number one killer of curve models. It's really upsetting. Hi, this is the plus floral patch pocket tee and short set. I am aware of the fact that probably every single fast fashion brand in existence probably have entire warehouses full to bursting of bolts of floral print jersey fabric on a black background left over from 2014 when that was what all clothing was. I get it, but that doesn't mean you have to take it and like Frankenstein it into this fit. This is how like a hype beast would dress if they were in elementary school. If you add a bow to this and a tutu, this is like me and the girls pulling up to the Jojo Siwa concert. Like, am I saying I wouldn't wear these shorts? No, I'm not saying that at all. I would wear the fuck out of these shorts. <laughs> but as we've established, my taste is awful. Hey girly, your eyebrows are so pretty. Wait, what? Live? Nikki Romero? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> huh? Sure. <laughs> Do you think in 1503, when Lisa Girardini sat down to start being painted for this portrait, she thought that in a couple hundred years, some random fast fashion brand would take her likeness Photoshop a face mask on it and sell it on a graphic t-shirt? Probably not because she didn't know what the internet was, but oh my god, this is so tacky. It was better in the 90s. Look, okay, I get that a lot of people grew up with the Tim Curry version, but the It movie from 2017 is actually really good. It's so funny to me when people who were actually born in the 90s wear stuff like this, because for people who were just like younger adults in the 90s, whatever, fine. 
be nostalgic for the 90s and say that stuff was better then. That's fine. But like I was born in 1994. For me to say stuff was better in the 90s, it's just saying stuff was better when I was like three. Like, of course it was. I was a child. You know, the only responsibilities I had were watching Rugrats and learning object permanence. I don't know, it's weird. Stop living in the past. The future is fun because my videos exist in it. Obviously. Y'all, I have to be honest, I'm a little bit down bad right now because I'm finding a lot of stuff that I think is really cute. Like this little top and short set I would wear. This little cherry top I'd probably wear. I think it's very sweet. This grid print dress, I'm so weak to anything with a grid print. I don't love the cut of this dress, but I think this is like a really cool piece. And this I think is so cool. This shirt, oh my God, I love this. <laughs> Wait, gorgeous. Face it, tiger. Well. Recommended lifestyle. I'm not prude. I'm just highly selective. Fashion talent. Life sometimes gets complicated. You're not too smart, are you? I like that in a man. Work hard is a very easygoing personality, not a casual person. Do you? <laughs> I want this shirt so bad. <laughs> I want this shirt so bad. I might have to pull the trigger on this. This is my favorite shirt that's ever been made. I think my favorite is probably life sometimes gets complicated. <laughs> Cause it do. That's what Avril Lavigne was singing about. She said, why do you have to go and make things so complicated? <laughs> I'm struggling so hard <laughs> to not Pick a size and add this to my bag. I'm going to think about this shirt for the rest of my life. Couple things about this one. Number one, why is this called the plus Dobby mesh shoulder ruffle trim floral top? What exactly does a little house elf from Harry Potter have to do with this? I don't know. I can't tell if I think the shirt is cute or not. I opened it up because I was like, that's super ugly. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, but I kind of like ugly shirts. I do hate cold shoulder turp. Terps? <laughs> Life sometimes gets complicated. But I don't hate mesh over a cold shoulder. And I also don't hate the blue with this floral print, but I also think this floral print will cause my brain to atrophy if I look at it for too long. So all in all, mixed bag. I feel like the positives and negatives cancel each other out and I have no opinion on it. Thank you, Dobby. Master has closed Dobby's tab. This looks like you had a little nighty. You know, you had a little negligee. And then it ripped on the side and you also need it to make it a little bit bigger. So you're like, that's fine. Let me just sew this panel of black lace in. And that's not gonna look out of place or tacky at all, especially not <laughs> when it's over bare skin in some parts and over the built-in cami shelf bra at other parts. Aw, meow. <laughs> yes. Yes, we did it. We did it, folks. Oh, and it's cute because not only is there a picture of a rose on it, which as we all know, Rosé the wine is made from roses and tastes just like them. She's also holding a rose because it's Rosé. Here's my thing. We have to... We have to stop doing this, okay? Rosé is not the only wine that rhymes with all day. Rosé isn't even good. Rosé is gross. Sweet wines are gross. Rosé is gross. Moscato is gross. Why not Chardonnay all day? Or maybe we just think of a different phrase. Good morning, Riesling. White Zinfandel. That makes me want to yell. More Lambrusco. I definitely wouldn't say no. Pinot Grigio. Tally ho, or whatever. The, you know what? I don't work for Shein. It's fine. It's not my responsibility. I'm just saying we need to break our obsession with rose as a quippy little rhyming wine. It's not even that good. Your lipstick is so pretty, ma'am. Good for you. Hi, guys. Are you having fun at Mushroom College? There's a 99% chance I don't care, but a 1% chance I do. What's bothering you, buddy? <laughs> That's what the back of the shirt says. <laughs> this is the plus cutout dress and one pair over sleeves without lingerie set. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, she's about to lay into this. And I was. But then I saw two things, the crotch butterfly and the Bucci butterfly. And now I think that this is actually the only clothes that anyone should wear ever. I love this. She looks great. Not the sex earrings, yes! Oh my God. 
Actually, I'm so in favor of this entire fit. Let's see it in red. <gasps> I actually like it better in pink, but I like that they match the lingerie. This with pink, well, if it was pink lingerie, you wouldn't be able to see the butterfly. Oh my God, what a catch 22. I love this little guy. Hi. If I have enough of a lapse in judgment later today and I go back and buy that comic print shirt, I'm gonna buy this too and none of you will ever see me in it. <laughs> I would just like to wish good luck to whatever 15 year old is gonna buy this shirt, rip the tag off of it, and then sell it on her Depop for $25 with the caption authentic Y2K size small, extra small, petite racer back tank top. This is like brazenly and offensively targeting a very, 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 very specific group of people that I went to Sarah Lawrence with. And I don't appreciate that. Oh God, oh God, oh no, no. I know that this is pajamas, but like, I've worn spaghetti sauce stained yoga pants to bed that are sexier than this, okay? This is hitty. Well folks, unfortunately I've encountered another garment that I want. This is cool as shit. I love this. Pretty much nothing bad to say about this. I think this photo is really cool and I would wear this, I'd wear the out of this. I think this is awesome. We were doing so well, Miss Ma'am. And they put you in this? Oh God. Oh my God. I don't even know what I can say. Like the picture kind of speaks for itself. This just looks awful. <laughs> you know what? Finally. Cause I've been saying for the longest time, there is absolutely no store online where I can find articles of clothing for my single Midwestern art teacher from the seventies Halloween costume. And now, finally, Shein is filling that niche. This is absolutely unprecedented because Shein decided to take something that not only didn't exist, but that no one has ever asked for and make it a reality. The person who buys this is this person. They think to themselves, man, I love leopard print and I love galaxy print, but I wish there was some way I could experience them at the same time in an orientation that looks like the very beginnings of a DMT trip. And I wish I could experience all that whilst exercising. And Shein was like, that is who we'll make clothes for today. This is so tacky that I wanna wear it. Whoa, was I just gonna go to the next page without addressing that? Hold on. DJ, run that back. <laughs> oh my God. We've done it, folks. We've managed to recycle so many clothing trends that we've gone all the way back to the original iteration of jeggings. People who are my age might remember. When jeggings were very first introduced back in around 2010, 2011, they were literally just leggings with like a silk screen print of denim on them. They weren't always like cotton denim and like polyester and rayon mixed together so the denim is stretchy. No, they were literally just leggings painted by a computer to look like they were jeans. And we've cycled back to that, this is Brilliant. You're not happy about this. I know you're not happy about this, but you're trying and I love that for you. Your eyebrows look phenomenal. I love the puckering around the waistband. I love how pixelated and grainy this image is. Oh my God. Lord Jesus, life is so beautiful and full and amazing. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, what is happening here? Plus heart print mesh halter teddy bodysuit. This is a bodysuit. <laughs> a bodysuit? I feel like I'm looking at a like a Rorschach test. Like I feel like I'm looking at an optical illusion. But putting that aside, the reason I opened this, um curse a I'm sorry, is that two curse altly and cara fung on. Cause I thought it was curse a little and carry on. And I think it's supposed to be. Do you think if I order this, this little card will come with it? I want to put this on my wall. The Rocky Horror Picture Show did not die for our sins for you to make this. Okay, Shein? Double feature brown Shein makes ooh ugly lip t-shirts. This sweatshirt actually captures and commemorates a really uh, really watershed important moment in American history. 15, 20 years ago, there was this yacht that crashed on a deserted island and there were five people on the yacht at the time and they were all stranded on this island. They were waiting days, weeks it felt for them to get rescued and they were giving in to starvation. This was not an island that had a lot of vegetation on it that people could actually 
survive off of. Then they were rescued by passing fishermen. And those fishermen had not caught a fish in weeks. The only food that they had were these big comical rainbow lollipops. And the five survivors from that crash took those lollipops and ate them with such <laughs> starvation-induced salivating veracity that when they were finished, their lips looked like this. And this sweatshirt is commemorating the act of kindness that those fishermen bestowed upon the survivors of that crash. <laughs> I feel like the person wearing this is like a representative from like the international coalition of clowns who are also sexy. See androids fighting, Brad and Janet. I said I didn't want to like keep my camera rolling while I'm just scrolling through stuff and singing, but I'm doing it. Plus slogan and figure graphic asymmetrical hem dress. Apparently we've got a goddamn dissertation to read, so let's get to it. Passionately in love. Justice and equality. Patience. Free. Flower. He talked on energetically. I love you. If you would be loved, Love and be lovable. I have searched a thousand years and I have cried a thousand tears. I found everything I need. You are everything to me. Loving you as closely to my life. I'll love you as long as I live. Love you for all my life. Don't say love easily. Promise is debt. Do what you say. Say what you do. Permit. 2020. Never forget to say thanks. If you would be loved, love and be lovable. Try. Confident. Energetic. Strong. Eagerly. Knowledge is power. Self-confidence. Patience. Percentage. Allow. Believe in yourself. Smile. Active. Believe. Enthusiasm. Sorry, warm devotion. Equality. Thank you. I do kind of like the aesthetic of this dress, but wow. Can you imagine wearing this in public and just having people stare at the front of your body to read? Just like walking anywhere and just having strangers staring at my chest and stomach trying to read my clothes. This is a bathing suit. Black, one piece. You've got the sort of industrial elements with the buckles and like the grommet up here on the straps. But then the single word on it says sunshine. And I want the opposite of this. I want a very pink pastel frilly one piece that just says across the front of it in like curls MT font. Death. Eat your greens. And then we have a smiling mouth with a bunch of flowers lazily photoshopped against the teeth in a way that doesn't even make dental sense. But I like the implication here. It's not telling you to eat vegetables. It's telling you to literally eat the plants in your garden. And I think we should all do that. Kids, children watching this, go out to your backyard and just start chomping on any vegetation you see. Rose bushes with thorns, poison oak, pine needles, grass growing out of the dirt with bugs on it. Eat it, get it right between your teeth, but don't mess up your bright red lipstick. Things I hate, series of circles, rectangle, and series of curves with circle accompanying. I like this little shrub that she inputs on all of their graphic tee flat lace. It really sets the scene for me. It's like, oh, first I thought it was just a shirt, but now I see it's a whole stylistic experience because of the shrubs. Yes. This is the plus slogan graphic crew neck tee that of course features the phrase relaxing today, adulting tomorrow. I don't know what this font under adulting is called, but I would like President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris to outlaw it. I don't think it does society any good. This is society if this font is outlawed. Actually, this is, this is society if it's again, if it becomes against the law to use the word adulting in any context at all. It's not adulting, it's living your life. Being an adult is rad as hell. Are you kidding me? You know I cannot pass up an excuse to read a shirt. Yes. I heart Freak City. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Freak City, actually. Really? We're in Freak City. I, I know some friends from Freak City. Oh yeah, I'm from um, Drip Goth Punk. Street? I live, I, I grew up on Drip Goth Punk Street. Drip Goth Punk Street, is that near Super Freak Sexy Girl Lane? Yeah, yeah it is, it's, it's very close by. What? Boston? How did they know I'd be here? Boston? Wild Club. And then there's a snake. We have a big snake problem in Boston, so I appreciate that Shein is like recognizing this. Every time I try to go, you know, park my car in the Hobbit Yard or eat some you know, baked beans at Fenway Park. I'm just like, why are there so many fucking snakes here? I wish there was someone from the Boston Wild Club to come here and take care of all these snakes. 
<laughs> Love that dirty water. <laughs> It says heart stopper. Me when I am a serial killer. <laughs> Me when somebody tries to take away the body of the person that I have just murdered. Me when I'm trying to figure out where to bury the body of the person I just murdered. Me when the police show up at my door and tell me that I'm under arrest. Me when I am being interrogated and they ask me when the murder happened. Just a girl searching for my lost shaker of salt. What? What? does that mean? Oh, it's a Jimmy Buffett reference. Thank you, r slash parrot heads. <laughs> That's so topical and current. Thank you, Sheehan. Well, guys, I think that about wraps it up for Sheehan's second appearance on this little program. This is still such an absurd brand that sells so many individual items that I would have to do like a 50 part series on Sheehan just to scratch the surface. And you know what? This is very fun. And I'm probably going to revisit Shein a couple more times. But yeah, leave me other stores you want me to do this for. Thank you so much for watching. But before you go, I'm going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be very stylish. And if you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on any social media site at Nisi Pisa. Now before I go, I would just like to remind you all of something very, very important. Life sometimes gets complicated.